The sand in the old sports hourglass is fast running out. We're coming down to the final minutes of the KPIX5 version of Wayne's World. After a record-setting 20 years here, this is the final moment. Some of his friends said goodbye to Wayne at six. A few more are in line now. Their thoughts and a clip or two down memory lane as the fourth quarter clock winds down to zero. And all the experts are saying that this Georgetown team ranks up there with the great UCLA teams of the past, the USF teams of Bill Russell and the Kentucky teams of the 40s, Adolph Rupp and those guys, and uh, I'm picking Villanova. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that I first uh, knew about Wayne Walker when he played at Idaho. I announced Fresno State sports, and Wayne was uh, playing for uh, Idaho when they played Fresno State. Uh, I didn't like him then, and I don't like him now. Actually, that's not true. I didn't know him well enough then to dislike him. I certainly had hoped to have one more of our stag dinners with Lon Simmons. They were beautiful, artistic affairs that ended up in such a wonderful fashion. But Wayne, I'm going to miss you, and I wish you the very best. All of us think you're the, you're the greatest. I don't know whether you can call the Beta Breakers a track event or, or even a racing event. It is a serious race, but boy, I'll tell you, you get 13 guys carrying a giant shoe for seven miles and they're proud of that fact, that's pretty scary. Wayne Walker was a guy that I respected very much. He was an outstanding football player, but more importantly, he was an outstanding person. And to find out that he's retiring, geez, I can't believe it. Is he that old now? But Wayne, I want to wish you nothing but the best. You weren't watching someone that uh, maybe they uh, played a little high school football or something, but here was a great player and still able to become a great broadcaster, and that was always fascinating to me. It is not true that the Dolphins think they can Tower of London over the 49ers. It is true some Niners had fears that this trip may interrupt their train of thought and that next week it would be difficult to get untracked. The first guy that wrote the 1991 A's out of the pennant race was Wayne Walker. I remember watching that around whatever it was, June or July, when Walt Weiss got hurt and you stood there and says, the A's cannot win without Weiss. I said, that's something we'll show them. Well, it turned out we didn't win without Weiss, and you're very perceptive, so we're going to miss that kind of, kind of action. So we'll miss you. Enjoyed every bit of the time we spent together. Have a nice time in Idaho. I think if you could think of just one word that described Wayne Walker, he was class. Wayne Walker was a man's man, and he was fun. And he was what it's all about. And I'll tell you, it was great when he was here. And it's not going to be the same without him. That's exactly right. That's the overriding thing you do hear about Wayne from the people who have been associated with him. He is a class act. He works hard and he plays hard. He truly celebrates the joy of living. Whew, some days, he really celebrates the joy of living. <laughs> And I remember one of those days, but I'd rather forget it. At the risk of stealing from Reader's Digest, he is the most unforgettable character I've ever met. He was superb on the football field, outstanding in television, and he'll be incredible in retirement. Here's to you, Wayne Walker. You made all our lives richer and happier, and we can't begin to thank you enough for that. Well, you know, Mac, thank you. I, I, I can't believe John Madden got that serious. You know, I, I'd, I'd like to get him to adopt me if he really, <laughs> if he really feels that way. That's still an option. Uh, I don't know how much time we have, but, you know, there's some people, you know, I want to thank, in, in particularly, all the people I've worked with, you guys, you know, Katie and Wendy and, get me and Anna up. and Brian and Joel Bartlett before him and, and this wonderful man over yeah. here who is a mixture of uh, uh, a rock and a marshmallow <laughs> and uh, Wayne Overton out here in front of the cameras and Artie DeLugich and Steve Croner. Uh, our sports producers who uh, I don't make it 20 years without those guys but I think kind of you know most of all it's it's you people out there that I really want to thank uh, I want to thank you for your acceptance and many of you for your friendship it's been a wonderful 20 years and uh, couldn't have done it without you and hell I'm just going fishing now <laughs> well, before you go be sure and mention this crowd over here people all well, these wonderful people there they yeah, are I, well I, I, I didn't think I had to I, I thought they were making themselves known over there but uh, some of my family and, 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 and my best friends and, uh, and, and really the lady who makes everything special for me Sylvia I love you hon and we'll miss you